Hey Tribe, Gavin Syme here, and there is another big update in this latest Lightroom 11.4 June update. Early this year, we, we saw masks and layering get way better in Lightroom with the new mask system, the way we can stack them and rename them and all this stuff, and also the AI masks. And those were really cool, although they had a couple of limitations. Today, those limitations have been eliminated. I'm gonna show you the trick for using these really efficiently to do amazing things to images and use multiple masks at the same time with just a click. Here's like an image, here's the raw file. I did a natural HDR development reset on this and some manual tweaking, right? But you can see our sky is still lacking it. And we can do the traditional masking like a linear gradient or something like that. But let's say I added a linear gradient like I would for years in Lightroom. Okay, it's been improved because we have the new mask panel. We can now right click, we can rename, we can duplicate the mask, we can invert the mask now even easier than before in this latest update. Then I have the local adjustment presets, okay, and the tools. So for example, I made this mask that's a gradient mask. Let's press O to get rid of the overlay. Now you can see if I turn exposure, for example, down, it's going to darken that sky. It's a nice gradient mask and they work pretty good for skies, but they're not super precise. I could also go here like we have for years and select a local adjustment brush. So this would work on any of the masks, whether it be brush or gradient, and say, hey, let's put the bland sky fixer on this. And it's just gonna apply all of these settings, kind of like we do with develop presets, but in the local adjustment panel. And now I have this mask that's done this, and it works pretty good. Then you enter the AI mask. Let's delete all the masks for now and say, hey, let's do a select sky mask. And up here is an AI. So if I click to select sky mask, you can see it says detecting sky and boom, there's our mask. And of course it's way more precise than our gradient. And it's actually pretty amazing how precise, even around the trees and the leaves, how precise that mask is. Now I can go and manually adjust it or I could go to the same presets that I've saved and you may be using these or you might be using your own, but I could put Bland Sky Fixer from Elegance 4. And you can see I've done essentially the same thing. So I've made this mask. This one just happens to be an AI mask. If I click the three dots, or if I right click on the mask, you can bring up the menu and I could name this and I could do things, for example, like duplicate this mask and then invert it and it would then become a foreground mask. But here's, here's the thing with these AI masks. You don't have to do this every time manually. That's where speed masking comes in. Speed masking is something I introduced in my Elegance 4 pack, but you can make them yourself. They're not hard to do. Essentially what a speed mask is, is rather than making a mask manually and just using a local adjustment preset, you have a mask that represents a combination that works really good, and then you apply it to whatever you want and save it as a preset. But what changed in this version is how easy it is to apply them. So let's go back and I'll show you again. We have no masks again. Rather than add any mask here on the right, I'm just gonna go over to the elegant speed mask. So we've done our developing, we just need to bring out our sky and foreground, mostly our sky a little bit. I'm gonna go to the HDR AI dynamic combo mask. And by combo, it means it's applying more than one mask, okay? And just like that, it did two AI masks. One is the foreground and one is the AI boring sky. So I could say, here's the AI boring sky. And I'm like, this is cool, but I wanna go here and turn up the, the warmth just a little bit maybe, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, turn up the warmth to make it a little bit more golden sky. But here's the thing, if I select this mask, much like the new feature I showed you in the last video where I showed you the new adjustable presets in the latest version, I will link that, you can change the intensity of that mask up or down. So you're gonna go up, or down in intensity to your heart's content. What you can see here is unlike with develop presets, it's not actually moving all the sub sliders proportionally. It's just increasing or decreasing the intensity of the overall effect that you applied, which is actually really cool. So you have the kind of this exacting control here where if a mask is too much, you can turn it down. If it's too little, you can just turn it up. Okay, so all the refinements to the mask features you're gonna see in Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Cloud, even in Lightroom Mobile and in Camera Raw across the board, you're gonna see these higher, more powerful mask features. Now, the cool thing is, I don't actually use local adjustment presets that much because I can build them into a speed mask. If I go to this portrait here, I can say, okay, this is good, I've ran a preset on it, and it looks pretty good, but we're still a little bit harsh on the skin, and things like that. So I could manually go in here and make a mask like I told you to, or I could simply go 
and say, no, let's do something like portrait AI beauty combo. Notice it says detecting here. What it's actually doing that's really cool is the moment I mouse over this preset, it says, oh, he's working on this photo. It starts rendering those masks. So this is the huge feature. In the past, when I saved an AI mask, as a develop preset to make a speed mask or a combination of masks. I would apply this over here. Then I would have to go over here, select the mask and update it on each mask layer. You no longer have to do that. As soon as you apply the mask, it does the AI work in the background and just finishes. It can take a few seconds or even when you mouse over, it starts rendering the AI work for that image that you're working on in anticipation that you're going to apply a mask. So now I've selected AI portrait beauty combo, right? But even if I don't use that, if I go to a different preset, it's going to apply instantly because it already calculated the AI mask, even though I didn't use the same preset that I moused over. How cool is that? Now, if we go over to masks here, we'll see that AI shade sun combo put all of these masks in, including the AI ones, and now I can just go in and edit them to my heart content, right? So I went from here to here, and it just really softens the overall feel, so it's not quite as intense. Now I might look at this and say, okay, I put a combo. When I make speed masks, if it's multiple masks, I mark it combo. If it's AI, I mark it AI. And if it doesn't say anything, it's just an individual mask. I just finished along with this video, the new 4.2 version of Elegance 4, because now we can use AI masks way better. So I not only refined some of the non-AI speed masks to make them more versatile, but I added some new ones of the AI tools and updated a lot of the AI tools because we can do them with one click. We can do them in batches. We can also copy and paste. Now, if I go into here, and say I want the skin a little softer, I can then go down and say, no, let's just do the skin smooth AI. And because we can name all these masks and keep them organized, I can do skin smooth AI and it's gonna apply a second subject mask where it says just soft skin, right? And I've now have even softer skin here. And of course I could say, no, it's lifting shadows too much. Let's put some more blacks in this, but it's softening my skin a little more. Now, how many masks you want is up to you. But the point is, if you get a group favorite like this, you're like, oh, this is my combination I like for portraits you can then save these in a preset right up here in the presets panel. And you can select all those masks and save them into a preset. So what that means is I could say, I like this, I'm gonna copy and paste it to all 50 from this post. And it's gonna take a minute to render, but it's just gonna run them all. Or you can save it into a preset like I do in Elegant Speed Masks because that saves a huge amount of time. Instead of manually saying, okay, add a subject mask, add a background mask, invert this mask, now apply a local adjustment preset, now tweak the settings. Let me just show you really quick how fast it is. Here's one here, again, that has been edited from this raw file, right? So the image was edited in natural HDR, but it still needs something with the sky. Let's go to HDR AI dynamic combo. And you can see, if I didn't give it time to mouse over, it has to calculate the mask and boom, just like that, we went here to here by doing a speed mask. Let's take this same one here, a nice portrait edited, I believe in Phil Mr. Belladonna. Here's our raw file, here's this, right? It's a nicely done portrait, but that sky is so gray and plain, it looks like there's nothing there. Let's go to portrait AI blue sky combo and select that, let it render. It's gonna take just a second and apply all four of these masks just like that, bringing our, our blue sky in, enhancing our subject, softening the foreground. This is an amazing transformation. If you're not speed masking, you're completely missing out on the power of masks, especially now when all the AI features are automated and you don't have to worry about updating. You can do it in batches, you can do it in anything. You can simply go shift control C or shift command C, bring up the copy settings and just select the masking. And you can copy those and then shift command or shift control V and paste those. And it's even gonna say, hey, do you wanna replace or merge or duplicate? It's, it's very elegant the way it works. And of course, you can also save those as a preset that you can then apply later. Let me show you one more example just to show you how powerful the AI features are. Here is this photo right here. All right, I've edited it in black and white with silver. Tweaked it a little bit. It's really dark. Can AI masks do this? Let's do that same mask, the portrait AI beauty combo from Speed Masks and see how good it masks this. All right, here's my behind subject. 
It's almost perfect. It crosses over on the fingers just a little bit. Here's the subject. So just like that, I can now say, okay, I'm gonna turn clarity and dehaze down a little bit behind the subject to kind of make it a little more glowy, right? I'm gonna turn that down, turn the blacks down and the exposure down to make it nice and dark like this. Then I'm just gonna select my subject and I'm gonna increase the whites and the intensity of my subject, the exposure, just a little bit. This model, even in a boudoir kind of scene where it was really dark and shadowed and it was complex edges, I couldn't select like that manually. The level of quality in the selections from the AI that we're getting out of Lightroom is kind of amazing. I've never seen this level of automated selections. Whatever you do, make sure you're up to the latest version if you're a Lightroom user. And make sure if you don't use my presets, and I'll link them in the comments if you want to check them out. They're not that expensive for the time they save you. But if you're like, oh, I never buy presets, at least make your own speed mask presets. Take your favorite groups of masks that you make and save them as a developed preset. They're gonna work across all the different versions of Lightroom and they're gonna transform the way you use masks. And you can also download some free developed presets like I've been editing these with. They're sampler packs on most of my things like Filmus, Natural HDR, and Silver. I'll put some links in the comments so you guys can download some freebies if you want. That is the other big feature. The first one was adjustable developed presets. I'll link that video as well. The next one is just these improvements in masks, which at a glance may seem small, but this actually really transforms the way we can use AI masks. It makes them way easier. And if you're already using Elegance, make sure you download the 4.2 update that I just pushed because I did a lot of little tweaks to improve this, to better use the AI masks, to be more refined in the way they're applied, and to work with this latest update just seamlessly with a single click. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see. Let me know what you're thinking about the latest updates in the comments and how you're using masks and we will see you on the next one.